Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. What investment asset class grabs the most attention of the average American? My guess is that it is not the stock market, but probably a category that many people don't even think of as an investment. That would be the local real estate market. Well, I, I don't have any data to back this assumption up. I find that most people tend to be more interested in what's happening in their local real estate markets than on the national stock exchanges. I think the reason for this is probably pretty simple. Houses are tangible, they're understandable assets that we can see and we can touch them. Uh, most of us live in houses and some of us are absolutely in love with our houses. You likely know the ballpark value of your house from the annual assessed value that you receive from the county every year. Chances are that you know what repairs that your home needs and have an idea of the rent that you could charge for it. You probably have an idea of the price trends in your neighborhood or city. You know the best areas in which to live and the neighborhoods that you should avoid. You know these things because all real estate is local. There is no national real estate market. But that is not the case with common stocks because most of us own our stocks in mutual funds and say ETFs, exchange traded funds. We don't often really know even what companies that we own, what town their headquarters are in, or even the price of the stock, the current yield, even the trend of the economy or sector or any weaknesses or strengths of the company. Unlike real estate, publicly traded stocks are based on national rather than local influences. And furthermore, we don't work or live in the companies in our portfolio. And few of us are in love with our portfolio of stocks. So it's no wonder that most of us are far more interested in the economics of our homes than our stocks. This is even less of a, of a surprise when we consider the average American has more invested in their home than they do the stock market. According to CoreLogic, the average annual price increase of real estate has slowed in 2019. During the first two months of the year, home price growth continued to decelerate and uh, Dr. Frank Northaf, chief economist for CoreLogic, said that in an April 2nd, 2019 press release. But <clears throat> that's just the average. Annual price changes range from an increase of 10.2% in Idaho to a decrease of a minus 1.7% in North Dakota. South Dakota showed a 1.6% increase over the past 12 months. According to CoreLogic, of the country's top 100 housing markets, a third are overvalued, 38% were at value, and 27% were undervalued. An under or overvalued house is one in which home prices are at least 10% above or below the long-term sustainable level. Now, while my hometown of Rapid City, South Dakota is not among the top 100 markets listed, home prices are booming in Rapid City, according to Jeremy Kaler, a realtor with Keller Williams of the Black Hills. He indicates that through April, the 12-month price increase in Rapid City is just over 7% which puts our local market into the top quartile for price increases on a national level. According to Zillow, our average sales price is $204,100, which compared with the national sales price of $226,800 uh, would indicate, or certainly my hunch would be that the Rapid City market might be at uh, worst valued to undervalued. However, I think it's reasonable uh, 
um, that most homes in flyover country, which we are, are priced lower than their coastal cousins. Some of the reasons are what I call the snowflake discount. That's seasonal weather patterns uh, that result in polar vortexes from time to time and that white stuff. <clears throat> um, and also I think the, the distance from major metropolitan areas because we're seeing a trend overall of people leaving rural areas and going to the major metropolitan areas. So those that can cope with those challenges are rewarded with uh, lower housing costs and a lower cost of living. Thanks for joining me.